In this presentation, you will learn six strategies that will help you tame your emotions. Emotions are not always easy to live with. It's okay when they are positive emotions, but when it is sadness, anger, shock, or frustration, it can become a big limitation in your life. Here are six simple ways you can learn to be more comfortable with your intense, negative emotions and tame them. Be aware. Emotional awareness is a way that you can prevent yourself from giving too much energy and attention to unwanted emotions. For example, if you're watching the news and you're not emotionally aware, you can find yourself getting very angry at the world. If you practice awareness, you can immediately catch yourself getting angry and choose to switch channels. Focus on what you love. Many people tend to focus on the gaps or the negative aspects of life. By doing so, you allow space and energy for negative emotions within you. It's almost like you are looking to experience negative emotions, so you find something negative to get the experience you want. That said, shift your focus on things that you love. The more you do what you enjoy, the less likely you're going to experience intense negative emotions. Embrace your emotions. The reason for taming emotions is that they can make us uncomfortable or make rash decisions, and in some cases, behave in a way that is less than classy. The key is not to ignore emotions, but learn to embrace them and express them more healthily. If you feel anger rising in you, Acknowledge that you are getting angry and find a way to express it without projecting it on someone else. A good way would be to go to your car alone and scream your anger or write down all the angry thoughts that cross your mind and flush it down the toilet for ultimate release. Observe your language. The words we use every day are filled with emotional content. For example, people who use the F word tend to be perceived as angry people. On the other hand, people who use words as I wish or I can't tend to be perceived as victims. Observe the words that you use and what they say about you and how you feel. Once you've identified those words, shift them to something more positive, like I can, I'll try, or I will. Evaluate yourself. A great way to tame your emotions is to evaluate or reassess your feelings from experience and identify how you could have reacted differently. For example, if you flipped during a staff meeting and made an angry comment, reflect on how you could behave if that same situation happened again later, which is very probable. What could you do differently, and how can you be better prepared not to react next time it happens? Be compassionate. Reality is that interactions with the outside world often trigger intense emotions. If you cultivate compassion, you are less likely to perceive other people as mean or trying to make you angry on purpose. An excellent way to start nurturing a compassionate mindset is to express gratitude for every person you interact with within your day. You don't have to tell them out loud if that makes you uncomfortable, but make a note to think something friendly and genuine for every person you encounter in your day. You will see that in no time, you no longer are triggered by certain people because you no longer perceive them as the villain. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.